Hey everybody, it's Steve Chase here. I'm going to share with you how to export your QuickBooks desktop file to the cloud using QuickBooks Online. So the actual process begins with opening up your QuickBooks account and you'll initiate the exporting of your QuickBooks account using the company menu. And then at the bottom of that list, there's an option to export your company file to QuickBooks Online. So that's going to be the, the first step to begin. Now, this is after you've cleaned up the file and you've inactivated things that you don't want or anything like that. We're assuming at this stage of the game right here, you've got your QuickBooks account, desktop account, exactly how you want it to be when you uh, move it into the cloud. Okay. So after you step, click into the export your Qu QuickBooks file online, what will happen is QuickBooks will prompt you to either click I'm ready to move now, I'm ready to move. That means you already have an existing QuickBooks Online account or you can create a 30 day free trial by clicking the try it first here. Okay, so let's assume that you already have a QuickBooks Online account. So you would say move online and then yes, sign me in. And you would log in with your credentials. Again, all of these screenshots here are inside of the QuickBooks desktop platform. And then we would be moving the data to the cloud here. Now, keep in mind that you have 60 days to move your desktop file to an existing QuickBooks online account. So that's the, that's the window frame that it will let you actually pair it up to export. Okay, and then step six, you're going to get email confirmation when your data is complete. Now, a couple things here that could cause this not to work. If you have slow internet connection, that could cause you to fail. It might just take forever, and it shouldn't take forever. So it could be the internet connection, so you'd have to try it again on a faster internet connection speed. When you are finished, you want to compare your profit and loss report and balance sheet report, all dates accrual. You compare those reports in your desktop file and your online version as well. Once you make the conversion, your desktop file is exactly how it was before. You can keep using your desktop file just like normal. You might need to do that while you're getting comfortable with QuickBooks Online. However, you know if you're making the switch at some point, going all into the cloud, you're going to start doing all your transactions on the QuickBooks Online version. One recommendation when you get the QuickBooks Online account is you re-reconcile your last statement from the desktop. That's because your reconciliation history reports do not go into QuickBooks Online. All you'll get is your registers with uh, the reconcile status, but you won't have reports. So it's best practice to just re-reconcile the very last one. It should be a zero. Just do it all over again, and then from there, that's your starting point for beginning the new bank and credit card reconciliations. After you connect to QuickBooks Online, you'll also want to link up your bank accounts so you can connect your business bank accounts, savings accounts, credit card accounts to QuickBooks Online. Now, each bank has certain limitations on how far back you can go. So ideally, everything is good. You can connect to a bank account, but there might be a gap of missing transactions if you had the desktop file missing a gap. So uh, hopefully, uh, when you connect account, you're not missing any any data sets. And using the bank bank monthly reconciliations will be the the way to verify that you've done it properly, and there's no duplicates or missing data. Awesome. And then lastly, I recommend that you set up your email forwarding or receipts. So this is a feature in QuickBooks Online. You get your own dedicated email account. Once you email a receipt or a bill from your QuickBooks account, you'll have the ability to uh, send the receipts over and then they can match the transactions coming through your bank feeds. This is a really cool feature there. So happy converting. Hope uh, things this Hope things go well with you and hope that this video was helpful. See you on the next video.